Welcome to the first of our two semi-finals in the unofficial Euro 2020 tournament. We are bringing you action today between the third seeds Belgium and the joint number one seeds Portugal. Let's get over and check out today's team news. This is how Belgium line up today. They are playing a 3-4-2-1 formation with Thibaut Courtois in goal, a back three of Toby Alderweireld, Vincent Kompany and Jan Vertonghen. In midfield, they've got Torgan Hazard out on the left-hand side, Axel Witzel and Kevin De Bruyne are in the middle, and Thomas Munier out on the right, with Dries Mertens and Eden Hazard supporting Romelu Lukaku up front. Portugal have gone for a 4-1-2-3 formation today, with Rui Patricio at the back, with Rafael Guerrero, Ruben Diaz, Pepe and Ricardo Pereira in defence. In defensive midfield, they've got Danilo Pereira, with Jao Moutinho and Bruno Fernandes in central midfield, and Goncalo Guedes and Bernardo Silva behind Cristiano Ronaldo up front. It's day one of the semi-finals. We have got the first seed in Portugal versus the third seed of Belgium here. Belgium shooting left to right in a 3-4-2-1 formation. Portugal shooting right to left in a 4-1-2-3 formation. This one can go to extra time and can go on for as long as it needs to decide a winner here. And we are underway in this one. Can Portugal be taken down by anybody? Can anyone stop their current dominant run towards the towards the finals? Where's this one going to go? Is this going to dip in? from the, from the the Oh, just over the top from the... From the, t from the uh, Triceratops, and it's tapped in by Romelu Lukaku, and hello, hello, Belgium have taken a lead. And I think, much like the surprise, um, surprise uh, quarter-final win from Switzerland taking on Netherlands, I feel this one Belgium needs to keep ahead in this game because you feel Portugal's dominance will show through the strength they've got. How on earth has that gone? It hasn't gone in. I don't know who had that shot there. We'll have to look back at that one. I'm not sure who had the shot there, but it's gone wide. And here comes the uh, Fern is it Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez, here the fin back. And the team are coming across here. And that's a shot from the Yessi. That's not a very powerful shot. But can anyone can anyone break here for Belgium? Oh, it's an open goal pretty much. But they can't get back. And the Finback's gone back here. What's he doing? Oh, the Finback, Bruno Fernandes. The Finbacks can make mistakes, it turns out. The Finback of Portugal, Bruno Fernandes, has put it in his own net. And have we got someone who can possibly take down the mighty Portugal here? 2-0. 2-0. These are probably, as I said, this is the third and the first seed of the teams here. The Brachiosaurus is digging in deep there. Digging in really, really deep and strong there for for the Belgians, and the ball is in that is coming forward into the Portuguese half. So here comes the Triceratops here, Eden Hazard. The shot, can he tap this one in? I don't think he's going to get there before the polar bear. The polar bear's got there first, but they're taking this terribly close to their own goal again. They got it clear. I can't tell if the shark here is dead, injured, stuck, or what he's doing. And what has the Stegosaurus done? The Stegosaurus has put that dangerous close to their own goal. There's no one to put it in. There's no one there to put it in, and Ronaldo brings it away. He's got Eden Hazard, the Triceratops closing him down though. Ronaldo's had a shot. And who's got the pace here? Oh, can the, can the, the Stegosaurus cover this one off? I don't know. The shark here of Jan Vertonghen is trying to get back for Belgium. Polar Bear here, coming forward. He's put that one in. That's a great shot from Gonzalo Guedes for, for Portugal there. Makes it 2-1 after exactly now two minutes on the clock. As I said, you do feel this one. Belgium need to keep ahead in this one. Because Portugal and other games will become dominant. They, they only just narrowly beat, only just narrowly beat France. Coming on the wing here. It's a good, oh, it's a good effort there from Bruno Fernandes, but he puts it wide. Bruno Fernandes looks like he's lost a leg potentially there. Can anyone get across here for Belgium? Belgium's going to be lacking players here. Oh, there's been a lot of destruction. The Titan of Bow has been taken down. The Stegosaurus there of Jan Martino makes it 2 makes it 2 2 after two and a half minutes, and it looks like Portugal are back in this one now. Belgium, come on. Is that one going to sneak in? Oh, save there from the shark of Ricardo Pereira. It may not have been going in, but it was going close. But he's got a, got a, he's got a toe on it. Or well, not a toe, he's a shark. He's not got a toe, he's a fin. He's got a fin on it. Who's going to come back here? I've got to say, Triceratops, I thought it would be a bit, a bit quicker than they are being here. It's crawling towards the goal. Tighten a boa. Where are you going to put this one? Oh, it's, it's, it's on the cusp of going in. Can it be cleared? Oh, it's been cleared by somebody. It's going to fall back to the Bra Brachiosaurus, is it? Oh, is that, where's the shark put it? Has he kept it out? The Sharks kept it out! He's tipped that wide! What a superb block from Vertonghen! However, he's not doing anything now. He is literally like a fish out of water. And this looks like to be tapped in by Jan Martino again. It is. Oh, if only, it's a great save from the Shark. We've got a decapitated... or the head of a decapitated... Thibaut Courtois there. Or a Belgium. And we're at three and a half minutes now on the clock. And Portugal have turned this one down from 2-0 from down. Turn it round from 2-0 down. Belgium need the next goal. They're battling as hard as they can here, but these these battles in the middle are going to cause them issues because it's going to kill a lot of their players off. When they lose their fin back, they're not, they've got no real pace. And Portugal's fin back is still alive. Here comes the Titan of Boa of Rui Patricio. Can the club tail here get free of uh, Vincent Company and help defend this one? 
Brachiosaurus is trying to cover it as well. The club tail, Vincent Company needs to get this one clear. Needs to get this one clear. He's put across his own goal. Where's that one gone? Oh my word. He has got a massive contact on that one. Is it going to end up back in Portugal's half? It is. Has the Yeti. Can the Yeti outpace the T Rex and not get destroyed in the process? Here comes the Finback trying to get through. The Finback is down. The Finback Fernandez is down. And this is going to be a slow paced battle. Here comes the Triceratops. Eden Hazard getting through as well. Can anyone put this in? Oh, they've all got it clear. This is a key passage in the game. It's 4 minutes 22 seconds on the clock. This has to go in here. This is a passage where Belgium have to score the next goal. Clubtail, get the right side before we try and clear it. He's done reasonably well. And again, oh no, that is not what you wanted to do. Get this one clear, Clubtail. Company, be careful. He's making a real mess of getting this clear, to be honest. Oh, Yeti has fallen over. Ronaldo's missed. Can, I, can we get a break on? We're 4 minutes 40 into this game. The last, the last game that Portugal had against a big team, they scraped through 3-2. There are not a lot of players left here at all on, on, in this match. And this is only going to favour Portugal while the clock is running down. We're nearly at five minutes here. And there's only the club tailor Vincent Company, the Brachiosaurus of Kevin De Bruyne left. And I think Ronaldo's put that one in. To be honest, it might not be a bad thing. It gives them a chance to score two goals. But we are five minutes and seven seconds on the clock now. And Belgium need to score quickly to get back in this one. Or are they going to are they going to bow out at the semi-final stage? Are Portugal going to come good again? Can anybody see them off? Oh, Ronaldo's put it in. Jammy boys. And it looks like Portugal now are going to make it through. 5-2. 40 seconds left. We've seen three quick goals in the in the Switzerland extra time game versus Netherlands, but I don't I can't see it happening here. Can they get this in the can they force it in somehow? Where's this one going to drop? It needs to go in an own goal or something. 25 seconds left here. It looks like Belgium are going to and Belgium are going to be dropping out of this competition here. Played forward into the corner by Portugal, wasting time. They don't need to waste time. They're five two up now. They've come back from two 0 down in this game and continues to look dominant. That's a dangerous, a dangerous ball there from Eden Hazard. It's been blocked by all the players. Oh, can anyone get on this one? Can they get a, can they get a consolation five three? No, they can't. I don't think here. But three, two, one. This one's unfortunately over. We hoped, we hoped, we hoped. That Portugal are going to get upset, maybe. I'm sure a few of you would like to have seen Portugal go out. Unfortunately, it didn't happen today. Belgium started well, went 2-0 ahead. And unfortunately, the power, strength and sheer... Uh, what should we call it? I'd like to say brilliance, but it wasn't. Just overpowering nature of the, uh, of the Portuguese team. Unfortunately, came good here. This one finishes uh, Belgium 2, Portugal 5. Portugal's run makes its way to the final as they defeat Belgium 5-2 in this game. Two goals for Ronaldo and two for Moutinho, as well as one for Gonzalo Guedes. Sees them defeat a Belgium team. We took a 2-0 lead in this one, but unfortunately couldn't overpower them over the whole of the six minutes. That sends Portugal through to the final. We've got coverage from France versus Switzerland tomorrow. We hope you'll join us then. Thank you ever so much for watching and goodbye for now. <laughs>